So recently, the SEC tried to attack the cryptocurrency industry, which fell flat. And a lot of people in the crypto space, a lot of crypto holders, got very scared. Now, on one hand, I understand where people are coming from when they have a fear when the SEC and crypto gets mentioned in the same sentence. But this kind of begs a larger question, which is, why hasn't traditional finance and politicians been able to do anything about the rise of cryptocurrency. You know, for perspective, we've went from zero dollars to taking literally trillions of dollars from these people. <laughs> this is uncontroversial, verifiable data that you can see with crypto market capitalization. Clearly, the establishment doesn't like this. All of the talking heads say negative things about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, and there's massive amounts of people talking about regulation and blah, blah, blah. Yet nothing really has happened against those, at least not in any meaningful, impactful way. I always found this kind of curious. It's like these people run governments, they run banks, they run everything, yet they can't seem to stop us. Why is this? Why haven't they been able to do anything? I think this should give you some confidence and maybe alleviate some of the fear that you have with cryptocurrency news and events that seem kind of bearish and like a doomsday is about to happen. One big thing is that the blockchain itself is untouchable. When you make a transaction with cryptocurrency on the blockchain, let's say Bitcoin, for example, you don't need to provide a ID or any information to make this transaction. You can make a transaction with anybody around the world for any reason, anonymously, for any amount pretty much. And there are other blockchains that can fulfill this function as well, such as Ethereum, BSC, and blah, blah, blah. The actual core of cryptocurrency, we're not talking about exchange and companies that are built around it, that orbit around cryptocurrency, but the core of blockchain is untouchable. Let's say you want to shut down the blockchain. Okay, well, are you going to send a cease and desist letter to the CEO of blockchain? Are you going to try and track down and interrogate Satoshi Nakamoto? There's no clear option if you want to make cryptocurrency illegal or banned for you to do so, because there's no centralized point of attack. Now, the vulnerable aspects of cryptocurrency exist within the orbiting companies. So like you have exchanges, for example, these are open to attacks and pressure by politicians. There is a person to send a cease and desist letter to. There is a person to arrest. There is a person to audit. But even then with cryptocurrency companies, seemingly not much happens in the end. Have you noticed that? Binance basically shrugged off the SEC recently. I think there is some interesting things going on behind the scenes that you guys probably haven't heard before. And that's likely because you're not in the cryptocurrency industry. In this industry, there are some unsavory people. My wild theory is that I think politicians are actually being threatened behind the scenes. Now, this sounds wild, but there has been some cases of people that really were serious about trying to regulate cryptocurrency and exercise control over it. And a lot of them have died in mysterious ways. Now, I'm not saying that's 100% the case, but if you look into it, there's been quite a few politicians that have actually seriously tried to get cryptocurrency regulated and bad things have happened to them. For someone that's had a very surface level interaction with this industry, I'm the lead developer of Boss Token, which is a $1 million market cap coin. Like it's super early days for this cryptocurrency. Even then, I've had a glimpse of this underworld that exists within this industry. And wow, there are some really unsavory people, but I don't think people appreciate just how shark infested the waters are behind the scenes. And I gotta imagine, we're talking about people with billions of dollars that have a vested interest in maintaining the status quo in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. And let's say there's some politician that starts seriously trying to disturb this. And let's say they're morally flexible. I gotta imagine they're going to do something about it and do something to that politician. It's just my imagination, right? You guys see guys like me and, you know, we're, we're funny, goofy nerds. We like talking about liberty and crypto and like we seem quite harmless, right? And yeah, we are. but. There were also people that are in crypto, which are not harmless. <laughs> Let me tell you. I suspect what is going on behind the scenes as to why cryptocurrency hasn't been regulated yet, quote unquote. Is the politicians seriously pushing forward with this? 
at some point get a friendly chat and they kind of drop it or make it super low priority. I think there's something going on because it is kind of weird just how unchallenged crypto has been. Like if you look at the long term graph, like there really hasn't been any dent whatsoever in the grand scheme of things as to cryptocurrencies rise in capital. And even when cryptocurrency gets banned, it doesn't really get banned. <laughs> like we saw it with India and cryptocurrency, like they had cryptocurrency be officially illegal, yet it became the country with the most cryptocurrency holders in the world. So what good was this quote unquote ban? Like cryptocurrency is just so freaking resilient. A lot of crypto holders don't realize how resilient it is. There's a lot of things going on in our favor and it's way tougher to stop cryptocurrency than you may think. Here's a crazy idea. Don't you think that the guys running the banks that openly dislike cryptocurrency would have done something about it if they could have by now? Like. Don't you think they would have stopped it by now? You know, the larger it grows, like the more people have a vested interest in their own finance to maintain cryptocurrency as a status quo. So it becomes even harder to stop as time goes on. So yeah, crypto holders, stop being so damn scared.